Hey there, everybody, it's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to another confessional for LNJ Survivor All Stars over on Tengaged. Last we left off, people, was day one impressions. We've made it to the first challenge with the newly named Fuerza of Tribe, courtesy of moi. And we go out there, we lose a nail biter. Goes ten rounds. Goes, well, technically it was full nine rounds, but second round we had to do twice. So I counted as ten. Lose a close one, five to four. Uh, I agree with Tim on his ruling for the 5-4. to four. Technically, Dan did reveal the vote for Jackson in that season. Even though it was stretched out across two different forum thread pages, the page that he showed was the one where the actual vote was revealed, not the actual suspenseful build up to it, which wouldn't have counted. So I agree with Tim's ruling. Therefore, we have to go to Travel Council. Now, the alliances... Oh, there's been a lot of alliances been forming here on uh, Fuerza. So, first group, we got myself, we got Bob, and we got Nope, or Nopalito. So, the three of us together are like a core three alliance. And then, three of us want to build a six-person alliance consisting of ourselves, Ica, Penguin, and Max. Now, putting the six of us together, that would give us majority in theory. On the other hand, Kyle W. has been forming a foursome alliance with myself. Max and Penguin. And then on the other other side, we've got Logan R forming an alliance with Nopalito, Bob, himself, um, the other Logan, Logan H, uh, fifth person. I know Matt, he wants to recruit Maddie to his side, and then the sixth person is. Oh god, I can't remember their name. It's always the last person I can never remember the name for. Uh, I'm not sure who it was off the top of my head, but I do know it was someone that I haven't mentioned. I'm sorry if I can't remember that person's name. But anyway, so there's a lot of different alliances going on. And my meanwhile, with this core three I have with Bob and Nopalito, I also have a core two with Penguin, which has expanded to a core three to include Bob because we both trust Bob. And then I've also got a deal in the all winners alliance with myself, Max and Nopalito as well. So let's just say we've got our hands in a lot of pots right now. And we're trying to stir them all up. So then we decided we'd get a good idea. We should target someone who wasn't at the challenge. You know, it seems basic logic for the first vote off. Um, so bringing that up, the people that didn't show up were Kyle, Bob. Obviously, we're not going to vote Bob here. Come on. What do I look like? I'm going to abandon my co-host here. Jesus. And then the other one was Logan R. Because... Although he did technically show up, he showed up near the end of the challenge and therefore wasn't much of a contributing factor to our point totals. With that said, choice really came down between Logan R. and Kyle. Now, originally my thought process, oh, let's get rid of Logan R. because Kyle's told me about Logan R. and he's been known to post, you know, PMs in main tribe chats and all that good stuff. But come to find out later, Kyle and Logan R have history, so yeah, I don't know who to believe. So then Bob and Nope come up with the great idea to spread some fucking drama and turn Kyle against Logan. So, <laughs> so they Bob goes ahead and tells Logan, hey, Kyle's thinking of either getting you or Maddie out with the emphasis being you as the first choice. That started off a whole shit show because then Kyle thinks it's me that ratted that information to Bob, who in turn ratted that information to Logan. Now, all that is very, very true, but we don't need him to know that. Come on, now. So now I'm worried I could be going home first. Kyle has now jumped up the leaderboard to being the number one target for everybody. As it seems like a general consensus, it will be one of those two because we're not hearing my name thrown around as much as the other two. Now, I'm still worried that I could get votes. I'm still worried that Kyle could have the idol and he could knock me out with it. I'm worried about a whole bunch of things. I'm worried about just, you know, it all being a great scheme just to get rid of a winner. And this is the way they do it by, like, all of them talking to me at once, making me feel safe, and then they just cut my throat. Just like they did to Brian in Guatemala. You know, it's tough. I expected All-Stars to be drama-infused and, you know, just like a real 
really hard season to manage. I didn't expect it to be this hard. Holy crap, this has definitely exceeded my expectations, and I'm excited. I'm hoping I can make it past this episode and keep playing, because this is amazing. This is the group of people that you want on your season. You want people that are going to make it interesting. We work well together. We're all active. It's just... Whew. All right. So hopefully everything goes according to plan and our target goes home. With that, I would like to cast my vote, guys, for Kyle W. Hopefully we can swing the votes, get him out. Otherwise, I could be very well saying goodbye here at the end of episode one. And I could just be out for the rest of the season, which would be a very big disappointment because it will only be the second time I have failed to make merge in my group game history. And ironically, both times would be in an all-star season. The first one for reference was m and Survivor All-Stars. So yeah, that's where we stand, guys. It could be me, it could be Kyle, or it could be Logan R. Hopefully the emphasis is on the other two and I'm not in the target. Although Kyle does seem pretty pissed. Because I believe his tribal quote was, you know, rats are rats, they know who they are. I'm not going to name names, but they know who they are. I know he's talking about me, because Bob and nah, no Polito told me. Well, Jabroni, guess what? You got my attention. Now your candy ass has to pay. Hopefully, we'll see you on the other side, kid. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this confessional. Hopefully, I'm still here for round two of this season. Thank you all so much for watching. This is The Nasty One, signing off.